The shape of a sports car is fundamentally determined by two things, its design and its aerodynamics. Or to put it simply, by its form and function. These are the important factors for the specialists from both disciplines. To find the right mix, they come together where adjustments can be measured in the wind tunnel. The new SLS AMG was given its final form in the Aerodynamic Research Center at the University of Feyingen. This is where the development concepts had to prove their worth and where design and aerodynamics came together. Hans-Dieter Schopper and Marco Schulz perfected the results over more than two and a half years. The wind tunnel constantly revealed the contradictions between form and function. Our goal for the SLS AMG was to put the classic sports car of the future on the road. We paid particular attention to sporty overall proportions as well as purist surface contours in a modern interpretation. The aerodynamic goals sound rather different. During the development of the SLS, we aerodynamicists were mainly concerned with generating downforce so that a good aerodynamic balance is available for the driving dynamic, plus of course a low drag coefficient and efficient cooling for the engine, transmission and brakes. Two different approaches that came together in the unforgiving wind tunnel. They had to prove their worth within the overall concept of the super sports car. The very steeply angled front end of the SLS allows a very large airflow into the engine compartment. And to prevent this, we incorporated shrouds covering the lower area of the cooling air intake and the star recess, so as to reduce the aerodynamic drag and lift. The shape of the front end also determines how much air flows over and under the bonnet. Achieving a good balance here is the aim of the aerodynamicists. However, the deciding factors for the designers are appearance and visual impression. The steeply angled front end clearly expresses the self-assurance of the SLS AMG. The long bonnet emerges from the front end and extends to the greenhouse, which is positioned well to the rear. We intentionally gave this very flat contours to create an even more dynamic impression. Both parties are immediately in agreement where the greenhouse with its distinctive helmet shape is concerned. Not so when it comes to the rear end. This is where the different requirements for the super sports car collide most obviously. The arrow-shaped taper at the rear is a must for the designers, but a major challenge for the aerodynamicists. We had intensive discussions with the designers to find the best possible contours. The rearward slope of the boot lid is compensated by this aerofoil. It extends at 120 km per hour and presses the car firmly onto the road surface. The experts agree. The new SLS AMG is a successful combination of aerodynamics and design.